Hi, this video is to provide some visuals for designing the steering arm for the white box mousetrap car. So let's just take a look at these instructions step by step from white box build and test instructions. Step one, cut the front end of the rail 35 millimeters shorter than the design dimension to accommodate the length of the steering arm. So you've cut um, both rails here and here according to your engineering drawing, the length according to your engineering drawing, um, one of the rails, this one in this case, is going to be cut off 35 millimeters shorter right here. So here's the shorter rail. Step two, um, measure 10 millimeters from the front of this rail and drill the same size axle hole uh, for this machine screw that's going to hold the steering arm and this rail together and give you the adjustability through this slot. Okay, so a new hole position is measured 10 millimeters from this new end. Step three, cut a steering arm to 55 millimeters and a spacer to 25 from excess wood from your own rails or um, this would just be from extra material, scrap material around the room. You're going to use wood glue to glue and clamp the spacer to the steering arm. Cut a steering arm from leftover material, 55 millimeters, right here. Cut a 25 millimeter spacer here. Glue these two together. You're going to need that glue to dry for a day before uh, drilling this hole and continuing work. Four, measure the distance from the front rail of the other rail to the center of its axle hole. Use this measurement to lay out the axle hole in your steering arm. Okay. So whatever distance your design had this hole from the front rail, you're going to do um, remeasure, measure the same distance here. This will work for most, but possibly not all designs. Some may require some modification to that step. But you basically want to make this distance the same as this distance. Okay, measure the center uh, 15 millimeters from the back of the steering arm and drill a hole. Cut a slot with a hobby knife. Uh, because we're using basswood instead of balsa, uh, strike this knife, hobby knife. You're going to use the red-handled hobby saw. Okay, so here this hole is 15 millimeters from this end. Center of that hole is 15 millimeters in. <clears throat> I could even uh, go so far as to put a dimension on that. A little more accuracy than we need. But that whole center is 15 millimeters in. Use a hobby saw to cut. The last step is to assemble this with a plastic machine screw, uh, bolt and nut. Okay, I hope that was helpful.